while in Egypt. Bonaparte stayed informed of European affairs. He learned that France had suffered a series of defeats in the War of the Second Coalition. On 24 August 1799, fearing that the Republic's future was in doubt, he took advantage of the temporary departure of British ships from French coastal ports and set sail for France, despite the fact that he had received no explicit orders from Paris. The army was left in the charge of Jean-Baptiste Kleber. Unknown to Bonaparte, the Directory had sent him orders to return to ward off possible invasions of French soil. But poor lines of communication prevented the delivery of these messages. By the time that he reached Paris in October, France's situation had been improved by a series of victories. The Republic, however, was bankrupt and the ineffective directory was unpopular with the French population. The directory discussed Bonaparte's desertion, but was too weak to punish him. Despite the failures in Egypt, Bonaparte returned to a hero's welcome. He drew together an alliance with director Emmanuel Joseph Siais, his brother Lucien, speaker of the Council of 500 Roger de Coes. Director Joseph Foch, and Tally Ron, and they overthrew the Directory by a coup d'etat on 9 November 1799. The 18th Brumaire, according to the revolutionary calendar, closing down the Council of 500, Napoleon became, first consul, for ten years, with two consuls appointed by him who had consultative voices only. His power was confirmed by the new, Constitution of the Year 8. Originally devised by CIs to give Napoleon a minor role, but rewritten by Napoleon, and accepted by direct popular vote. 3 million in favor, 1,567 opposed. The Constitution preserved the appearance of a republic but, in reality, established a dictatorship.